is that you're from Halifax originally, and when you were, and that's where you started your music career, and you were really doing it totally indie. Tell me about how this happened, and then you hooked up with Sony Music. Yeah, so yeah, I've been an independent musician, like uh, didn't have a booking agent or a manager or anything for uh, quite some time, and you know, had been touring a lot through the States and Eastern Canada, and then I, one of my songs, um, I, I wrote the song Close Off, and right. put it to radio on my own, and Sony heard it on the radio and gave me a call. So yeah, things were a bit different in the last year and a half, for sure. Is that put more pre? I mean, got to put more pressure, right? I mean, in a way, or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't feel a lot of pressure, but I, I feel, um, I just feel really lucky that I get to uh, have a team that supports me now. And there was, you know, I, I was independent for a long time, but it wasn't necessarily by choice. It was just a lot of no's and people didn't want to work with me. Yeah. And and uh, so I, I just feel very lucky that I get to do what I want to do on the level that I want to do it. How would you describe what it sounds like? for Because this will come out before the album comes out, and it's a pretty original sound. I mean, there's a dance influence, but it's yeah. not straight dance. What I mean, what how would you t describe it? Um, I think it's, uh, so my background is just like acoustic singer-songwriter, especially coming from the Maritimes, it's a big, you know, singer-songwriter sort of vibe there. But then I hooked up with Classified, um, who's a hip-hop producer, and I also just listen to a lot of pop music, so there is like that dance influence, but a big sort of hip-hop and almost 90s hip-hop vibe to it. Cool. Thanks a lot, Ria. Thank you.